For so many, hockey isn't just a sport, it's a religion. And Graf is devoted to making the most comfortable skate on the ice. It's all about materials, it's all about weight reduction, and it's all about enhancing the player's performance. And that player can be anyone from peewee to pro. It's a skate that you put on and you go, wow, this feels really good. With cutting edge upgrades like three levels of flexibility and advanced heel support, the new 9035 is the pride of the Ultra Series. It is the closest thing to a custom skate that any manufacturer has ever put into a store. The secret to hockey success boils down to one thing, skates. But finding the perfect fit can be a long and painful road. We're now seeing a lot of cartilage issues, and basically all that caused by a skate that's too stiff. Graf took on the challenge of a stiff boot and came up with the Ultra 9035. What makes a really good skate is a skate that was going to give you the stability, feeling that you're comfortable, but it allows you to rotate. At their Canadian facility in Calgary, Graf has been working hard to help players feel comfortable in their boot and avoid painful heel spurs and lace bites. We work to really examine the importance of forward flex in skating and also the anatomy of ankles. Better forward flexing means more comfortable support for the ankles, and it's not just one size fits all. The skate is produced in different flexes the same way a hockey stick can be purchased in different flexes. The three different flexes make accommodations for distinct weights, strengths, and styles of play. A uh, NHL player that weighs 220 pounds might want the skate to support him more. A smaller NHL player who is more agile might want the boot to flex more. First out of the gate in the construction process is the carbon fiber upper. If you look at a golf ball, the amount of impact it gets when it gets hit by a golf club, so it compresses and then it expands. It's the same thing with our quarter panels. The basic form of the boot is called a quarter. Typically, one piece is used for the quarter, but Graf cuts two and sews them together to create a curve for the heel. By producing two two-dimensional quarter panels and then sewing them together, it creates a heel pocket. The curved heel pocket fits the natural shape of a human heel better than a single unit quarter panel. Basically, what I need to do here is to cut the shape of the quarter panel. The material may look thin, but carbon fiber is 10 times stronger than steel by weight. It is a bit difficult to cut this material, yeah. We go to two or three blades a week. Once all the pieces of the boot are cut, they are sewn together. The first process of the sewing is the zigzag stitch, and this attaches the inside and outside quarter panels together. The zigzag stitch makes a strong spine for the boot. Smaller pieces are added to support the heel and ankle structure. There is a heat-activated glue that holds the pieces together, and then the skate is stitched over top of the different material. Next, the comfort liner is added. It's made from a special non-absorbent microfiber that's used in the helmets of the Canadian Forces. You're in a 110-degree uh, desert. You uh, obviously need something that's comfortable. You need something that is not going to soak up too much water. The most sensitive part of the foot to fit is the ankle. Strategically placed ankle pockets provide maximum cushioning. It has ankle pockets that are anatomically placed to match up with the human ankle bones. Next, eyelets for the laces are punched. Now the tongue and toe cap are sewn together, then attached to the boot. The tongue has an extra cushion insert. After the tongue and toe cap assembly is sewn to the upper, you have essentially a skate that is starting to look like a boot. Now the boot is ready to be lasted. A last is a form in the shape of a foot which the boot is molded around. We heat the uppers before they're lasted. And again, that, that gives it the shape, the all-important shape through the last. Uh, I put it in your oven to be soft. The material is heated. Now it's ready. And then molded around the last. The heat and the pressure of the heel lasting machine presses the skate down onto the heel mold and creates a heel shape. Feels very good. No wrinkles, nothing. It's very, very good. With zero wrinkles, the boot is good to go to the next step, inserting the insole. The sides are wrapped underneath the skate and glued and nailed to the insole 
which creates the frame of the skate and completes the lasting process. The next uh, process is the grinding. It's critical that any excess material, glue, or nails on the bottom of the skate are ground down. This is the grinding station. The bottom is now going to be grinded and smoothed off to be prepared to put glue to put the outsole on. Grinding is the toughest job on the line. One mistake, and the skate is a write-off. If the boot is not grinded properly, it can cause problems with alignment when we attach the holder on later. So it's very important that it's flat and it has a, a level surface as possible. Next, a heat-activated glue is used to attach the outer sole to the bottom of the boot. Then pressure is applied. When the two pieces are pressed together using uh, a high-pressure press, the two materials bond to each other and essentially become one. What is next procedure is drilling before we attach the holders. Holes are drilled into the bottom of the skate where the super light blade holder will be attached and nuts are dropped in. It's ready for mounting blade on the next station. The blade or runner is added to the holder before it's married to the boot. If damaged, it can easily be swapped out. Anytime this runner breaks, you can simply unlock this nut and replace it with a new runner. The holder is mounted to the bottom of the boot using nuts and screws. Using screws lets you adjust the alignment of the holder or replace the holder entirely. This process can be done with the skate still on the athlete's foot. I really compare to uh, a racing car uh, aligning its wheels, okay, to make sure that the wheels are stable when he's making those tight turns. It is exactly the same. So right now they are ready for finishing. The skates get a final cleanup before they're boxed up. We're taking graph into the next century by providing great performance to the athlete. These 21st century skates are for everybody from little kids playing peewee hockey to the pros. Every uh, player is a better athlete, better trained athlete, and uh, that's why they need a better product on their feet. We might be using new technology in the materials, but all that handcrafted is still there in the manufacturing process.